Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. We've recently seen a handful of new changes go live that directly affect the SMG category in specific, both in the Reloaded update a few weeks back and then also some recent minor meta updates as well. And so with that today, I wanted to break down the new top five best SMG loadouts that you wanna be running. So first up here, I've got the Wasp 9. This, in my opinion, is kind of like a do-it-all style SMG and it does it all very well and very reliable. This being at number five should just tell you how competitive this smg category is in general because this is a ridiculously good smg and it's number five out of five on the list right but it's really easy to use it has really good mobility and its ttk is incredibly competitive it's got a great first damage range like all around this thing is just super super reliable as far as the setup goes here initially i'm going for the zem 35 compensator this is such a good compensator on close range weapons because it's only hurting your ads speed by five percent that's not a huge deal. We'll gain that back elsewhere. And it hurts your velocity by 5%, which is irrelevant in close range fights, but it gets you better control with vertical and horizontal. So makes the gun easier to use and it gives you shorter radar pings and adds in firing aim stability. So this is a great choice, like I said, for the close range there. I also go for the light barrel. This helps out with uh, sprint speed, ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, just speeding it up in general, making it a lot more aggressive and agile. DR6 hand stops kind of doing more of the same. General movement speed, ADS speed, sprint to fire, strafe speed, all getting nice benefits up there. We got the 50 round Xenomag, very basic. And then I just don't like the irons all that much. They're kind of clunky, a little bit uh, obnoxious to look through. I feel like I'm way more accurate when I use an optic and the glassless is so good. Again, more firing aim stability. Uh, if you wanted to, you could also use something like a slate, a NIDAR, any optic that you're comfortable with, go ahead and run that. And I mean, like I said, this thing is super, super consistent and reliable. You play in the close range. There's like no recoil. This thing can even extend into the mid range pretty efficiently as well uh like i said with that initial damage range being pretty extreme so overall wasp 9 is putting in the work now the striker 9 is what i've got at number four and this thing is also incredibly good it's close range ttk is actually extremely competitive you get into the mid range this one also holds its own very very well there too while being incredibly agile at the same time this has some of the best in class movement speeds across the board for various different areas whether it's sprint strafe whatever the case may be this thing is a true definition of flying and frying not to mention also very easy to use so in Initially, again, here's surprise, surprise. I've got the Zem 35 Compensator. Love the feel of this thing once more. I do go for the Recon Long Barrel here. It only slows your ADS strafe speed down and your sprint to fire speed down a little bit. And it gives you really solid uh, benefits for your range here. Up in that first damage range to 12.6 meters is really nice, keeping it even more competitive out past that 10 meter range. The velocity benefits don't really matter all that much though. 50 round Xenomag here, faster fire rate. So you definitely want to have 50. In this case, 40 would be a little bit too little in my opinion. It was fine yourself reloading at awkward times i go for the nidar model 2023 in this case that nice little yellow dot one of my other favorite close range optics then lastly no stock the gun is so easy to use here that those control cons don't really matter all that much in the close range and you're getting insane mobility stats across the board with pretty much everything sprint strafe general movement ads sprint to fire it all feels so good so you are going to be very snappy very aggressive with this thing and again it's really easy to stay on target in those first couple of damage ranges really not much control not much bounce whatsoever and you can get around very quickly with this thing one of my personal favorites the feel of this across the board is just so nice by the way as we are going through all the setups here today if you are new to the channel or if you simply have not subscribed yet this is your one-stop shop for all things going on in call of duty news updates patch notes meta breakdowns it's all right here so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications and if you enjoy the video do me a favor drop a like on it it does really help the channel grow much love to everyone who takes the time to do so next up at number three i've got the ram 9 and quite frankly the top three here are all so competitive that it's really hard to definitively say this is number three this is number two this is number one right you could make an argument for really any of them we did see some nerfs to the ram 9 here recently with its near to mid damage and whatnot so it'll be a little bit Bit worse than it was you know a week or two ago but it's still a ridiculously aggressive uh smg here sprint to fire is a little bit lacking but if you're hitting headshots or upper body shots and gunfights you're gonna put down enemies with ease in the close range initially again i've got the zem 35 compensator what a surprise i also go for the imperator light barrel this was buffed back with season two reloaded so the better damage range and bullet velocity benefits are even better here you also get a little bit of strafe speed here too which is nice to see the control benefits not the end of the 
the world because we are actually running the 3.4 pad stock here and it does gain some of that back and then in the close range control is not the biggest deal just because your targets are obviously much larger so it's way easier to stay on target there 50 round extended mag here as well kind of same old same old then i do go for the dr6 hand stop once more for all those mobility benefits making this thing feel very aggressive and agile really anytime you can speed up the sprint to fire on this gun in particular that's something you probably want to do again very easy very clean iron sights here uh, for really anything you're going to be fighting with in the mid range in the close range obviously it's a ram platform so it looks and behaves just like the ram 7 just all meant for close range and i mean it gets the job done very very well now i won't lie i am extremely torn on number one and number two here if i'm being honest with you but at number two i've got the hrm this is probably my favorite feeling smg in the game right now especially with this build that i switched over to recently it is so aggressive it feels so consistent in close range fights i feel like i can just finesse constantly with this thing and uh and i love it quite frankly so again i've got this m35 compensator it's kind of a mainstay on the smgs if you haven't realized by now i recently have switched over from the princeps long barrel to the thorn 90 barrel just for all in on mobility purposes right we're getting better sprint speed ads speed sprint to fire a little bit of hip fire benefits too so if you're transitioning between the two ads and hip fire in the close range it's going to be nice and accurate there i pair that with the dr6 hand stop and i am moving plus we got the light stock on here too which helps out even more with ads and strafe and general movement speed and then lastly of course we just go for the basic 50 round drum on here this thing is such a good run and gun style smg for resurgence for the big map if you're playing close range this is my true uh you know fallback this is my safety net if i want to know i have reliability in the close range i'm running this every single time I mean, it's got the clean irons too for the close range, the good mobility as mentioned. The bounce, I feel like is kind of exemplified a little bit too much in the firing range as we know there's weird visuals going on here with the smoke and everything. In game, it's super, super easy to stay on target. You'll have no problems with this. Hey everyone, quickly wanted to give a shout out to my friends over at G Fuel. We've got our in-game metas that we of course talk about all the time, but we also got to show some love to the out of game metas as well. And the most effective tactic available, the meta for staying focused and energized is picking up some G Fuel. They got a little bit of something for everyone in terms of flavors, but my personal favorites, Hype Sauce, The Goat. Uh, they also just brought back Watermelon Mint, which is absolutely incredible. And lately, I've also been loving the new Sage Mode Hydration Tub as well. There's no caffeine in that, just perfect for staying hydrated. And if you do want to pick up anything for yourself, be sure to throw in code IMMORTAL at checkout for a nice little discount. The link for that will be down below if you're interested. And then lastly, at number one, the AMR9. I mean realistically this thing's not the most aggressive smg it's sprint to fire and it's ads speeds aren't that good by comparison to the other subs but it's ttk is so much better than everything else in the category i have a hard time bringing this down at all now that said i think you can make a case for the hrm9 i think you can make a case for the ram9 you could even have a case for like the striker and the wasp if i'm being honest but the amr9 it just it leaps everything when it comes to the ttk especially as you get to 10 15 20 meters you'll find yourself in those situations a lot in game and there is no better option in those areas than this raid here now like i said the sprint to fire is bad so and the ads is too i'm not trying to hurt that if i don't have to so i just go for the shadow strike suppressor it's just simply keeping me off the radar zem 35 is a good option here but keep in mind it's going to slow down your ads by that four percent so if you're not trying to hurt that at all you might want to avoid this however it's going to make the gun a lot easier to use so just balance your pros and cons there if you really value the control go for it it's not going to be the end of the world but it's going to be a little bit slower skeletal vertical grip here is super clutch because it does help out that sprint to fire and it gives you some control so you're getting a little two for one there that's nice and convenient 50 round mag here 100 would be viable on an ar build for it but for close range you don't want those cons for mobility 50 is already slowing you down enough so we'll just go for that for now but for tube stocks also super clutch here a 20 percent decrease to that sprint to fire speed while also bumping up your mobility elsewhere makes this thing a lot more aggressive then lastly it really just comes down to how much you like or dislike the iron sights i don't think they're great however phantom rear grip on here helps out so much with that sprint to fire when you stack this and everything else together another 24 uh, 24 decrease there that's really really clutch but i won't lie these irons are not the greatest in the world 
I mean, they're clunky. It's kind of obnoxious and hard to see in certain cases. So I totally understand if you feel like you have to run a uh, an optic here. If that's the case, I'd probably drop either your muzzle or the phantom rear grip, unfortunately, and throw on something like a NIDAR, a glassless, uh, whatever the case may be there. And then suddenly, you know, your visibility is going to be a whole lot better in the close to mid range. It's going to be way easier to stay on target and hit those shots cleanly. So it's really a matter of preference with that. But overall, this SMG category is crazy competitive. You got plenty of good options depending on your play style and your wants and needs. That's going to wrap things up, though. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you later. Peace out.